To make the shoe pastry, the first thing we're going to do is mix our wet ingredients. So that's 120 millilitres of milk, 200 millilitres of plain tap water, cold water, and about a tablespoon of sugar. Sugar's optional. And you just need to stir it about over the heat. Don't let it come to the boil too quickly. We're just going to stir it together over heat until the sugar has dissolved. It's been a couple of minutes now and I can tell that the sugar's dissolved because before it was in a lump and when my spoon went over it I could feel little granules but I can't feel those anymore. So now I'm going to add in my cubed butter, 100 grams. You really do need to make them small cubes because they're going to melt quicker. The longer you have this over the heat, the more water's evaporating, so you do need to have them in small pieces. And we're just going to mix this together until they're dissolved, and then we're going to bring it to the boil. Not like a full-on rolling boil, but once we can see bubbles, we're then going to stop. Okay, so you can see now that it's starting to boil, so I'm going to turn off the heat and we're going to remove it straight away. Whilst it's still hot, we're going to put in our flour all in one go and really quickly we're going to stir it. You cannot wait, you have to put it all in and stir it straight away. Okay. You can see here now that it's come away from the sides and it's all in a nice little ball. So once it's done that, you need to leave that for a couple of minutes. And if you want to speed up the process, you can put it onto a plate and then leave it on the plate for a few seconds and then put it back in and the change in temperature will cool it down. I've now put it back into the pan and we're going to add the eggs. So I've whisked up my four eggs and we're just going to add a little bit at a time and mix it in. It's not going to be easy at first. It'll look like it's split but it hasn't, you just need to keep going. profiterole mixture it falls off in clumps so you need to make it so that it's pipeable but if it's too runny it won't hold its shape so if you've used large eggs and I've only used medium eggs four but if you've used large eggs then you might not need to add all of the egg so now I'm going to put this into our piping bag so I'm going to stop using my wooden spoon at this point and we're just going to use a spatula so we're just going to use a spatula here just to scrape down the sides I'm using a pint glass and that's because I don't have anyone here to hold the piping bag and it's just a lot easier if you put it in a tall glass Okay, I have already cut the hole in the bottom. There we go. Okay, so now I have my baking sheet. This is non-stick paper. And we're just going to pipe our profiteroles. I find if you do it from above, you actually get prettier looking profiteroles. If you do them in circles, um, I'll show you one in a bit, they're just not as attractive to be honest with you. And 
Now what you'll find is that you'll get these little bits where you've pulled up. Okay, just dip your fingers in some tap water and just press them down. If you don't do that, they do stand quite a high chance of burning and you don't want that, so just tuck them in. Now you need to have made sure that you've preheated your oven to 180 degrees if it's fan or 200 convection and we're going to put these in for 15 minutes on top temperature then we're going to reduce the temperature by 20 degrees so 180 from convection and 160 on fan and then we're going to give them another 15 minutes you'll need longer for your eclairs so, these are my profiteroles, they're now ready to go into my preheated oven and they're going to puff up nicely. So to make the chocolate sauce I have a little tiny bit of water in the bottom of a pan and I've got that to go over the top. So this is the double boiler, so that's going over the top and into there is my cream, 80 millilitres. And I'm also going to add some milk. Now you could obviously just use all cream. I'm just going to add a couple of tablespoons of milk now. This just makes it a little bit thinner. So we've got that in there. We're also going to add just a little bit of butter, just a knob of butter, optional. Makes it glossy. I am using milk chocolate here, but you could also use dark chocolate. That works really well as well. Okay, this is my chocolate sauce now, and it's ready, and it's lovely, and it's light, and I have something optional, and it might cause controversy, but what you can do, which is what I'm going to do, is I am going to pass it through a sieve. I find I get really nice results that way, but that is completely optional, and it's obviously more work. So you need to allow this to cool, because obviously you can't really do anything with it at the moment. If you're going to serve it warm, then obviously you can just pour this sauce over, with, over it. But I'm not going to be serving mine warm, so I need it to cool down, so that I can then put it onto my profiteroles. To make the filling, what we're going to do is take our cream. This was a 600 milliliter British pasteurized. This is um, double cream, and you do need to use double cream or whipping cream. In some countries, I think it's called heavy cream. You do need to use that kind for this. And we're also going to add some icing sugar, also known as confectioner sugar. And we are going to sieve this through. This is another occasion for a sieve. How much you want to add is up to you. Two tablespoons, three, maybe even four. Completely personal choice. So this is between stiff and soft peaks. So what I'm going to do now is add one third of a cup of Baileys. Completely optional. If you want to you could just flavour this cream with a flavouring instead and I do that at the start when you're whip whipping the cream up to start with. If you add too much Baileys you'll struggle to get it to be the thickness that you want it to be because you do need to pipe this. And I will also say that I did cheat. I didn't do all of this by hand. Um, I started and then I thought this is taking too long so I got my electric mixer out. But this is my cream now. So you can see here I've got soft peaks. This is what happens when you add the Baileys. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that and I'm going to use this now to pipe. So I wanted to show you what they look like. This is what they look like when they come out. They're nicely puffed up. And I wanted to show you what these look like if you don't 
pat down with water. So this is what happens. You end up with that. And that's not attractive, so this is why you need to pat down. So with these now, what we're going to do is just slice them in half all the way around and separate them. But keep them together so that you know what tops go with which bottoms. You can, of course, if you have the right nozzle, just poke a hole in and then pipe directly into the bottom. So some people do that as well. So that's what you can do, but I'm going to just slice mine and I'll show you what I do with them in a bit. So I've now gone through and sliced them all in half. And I'm just going to show you how I make one. So if you've got a lot of the inside, just take that out. And I put a bit in the top and a bit in the bottom. I know there's more on that side, but that's because we want a bit of the cream to show. So that's what it looks like. And then we've got our really lovely and smooth. Oh, there we go. A lovely and smooth ganache. And we are just going to drizzle it over the top. It should be thick enough that some of it will stay on the top. If it's not, then pop it into the freezer for a little bit or just wait a little bit longer for it to cool. Okay. So that is our profiterole. And they're really, really good. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you give it a go. I'm going to show you some pictures of my profiteroles done and of my chocolate eclair. Please like and subscribe. Merry Christmas.